Hi! In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the new Loadrunner Enterprise release. First up, you can now create a new project from an existing one. This is a great time saver when setting up a new project. Simply select the project that you want to copy and choose which assets to include. This is useful where you already have tests, scripts, users and other resources configured in a project. Next up, monitoring. You can use the new Service Virtualization Monitor to watch data collected from virtual services during your test run. Service Virtualization uses simulated services instead of loading actual services and supports Windows and Linux environments. There's a lot of great new functionality in the JMeter and Gatling integrations. You can run tests with the embedded JMeter or Gatling installation with no additional installation required, control the number of users and their scheduling during a test run, add additional runtime settings, and view results in the throughput graph. Check out the cloud test updates. You now select a cloud account category. You can use private IP addresses when provisioning hosts with a cloud template. And you can view the status and location of your cloud hosts when initializing a test run. Unable to run tests because your hosts become non-operational? Don't worry, just create an alert and LoadRunner Enterprise will automatically let you know when your testing hosts are in need of service. You'll now receive this information in our restart email. The 2021 release also includes a new integration with Silk Performer. This enables you to upload and run Silk Performer scripts in LoadRunner Enterprise tests. You can view the results in LoadRunner graphs and analysis, or upload the data and view it in Silk. This release provides many new features for multi-tenant environments. You can reconfigure tenant hosts from the Site Management Console, restore tenants that were removed or copied from another environment, and you can upgrade tenants to a later version of LoadRunner Enterprise. And finally, to help cut across language barriers, you can display the LoadRun Enterprise user interface in Spanish or Italian. So check out the Help Center to learn more and enjoy the new LoadRunner Enterprise release.